Hello viewers, this is the second part of the video for the song Sundari Kannal Urishi the Chords. In this video, I am going to show the strumming pattern and the list of chords used in this song. If you want to know the first part of the video, it is in the link below in the description. I have also pasted the chords for this song. Okay, the scale of this song is C sharp major. In order to make the play a little easier for the chords, we are going to transpose the scale to C major by putting the capo on the first fret. Let us now see the list of chords in this song. The first chord is G major. The next chord is C major. Next chord is A minor. The next chord is E minor. The next chord is D major. And the last chord is B major. Let us now see the strumming pattern I have used in this song. It is down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, slow, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, super slow, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Let's try with the first line of the song. Sundari kannal oru sedi solladi pinnal nalla thedi. Let's now combine this with the actual chords. Sundari kannal oru sedi. Let us now look at the chords in detail, line by line. In the first few lines, the chords change in the middle of the word. So let us see the first line. It Sundari Sedi. So in this line, in Sundari, when you say Ri, that is where you strike the G chord. Until then, it is rest, which means no chords at all. So let's look at the first line again. Sundari Kannal Oru Sedi. So in this line, one more time. In Sundari, in Re you strike the G chord. And you say Kannal. Until Kann, it is G major. When you say Nal, that is where you change to C major. It continues until when you say the in Sedi. When you say the, that is where you change to G major again. Let us see one more time. Sundari Let us now look at the next line. So you see NIA, when you say A, that is how you strike the G chord and it continues until then. When you say than then, in then you change to C major. It continues until Unaka. When you say ga in Unaka. Ga, that is where you change back to G major. So let us see that line. The next line. Nanu nai ninga maten. In non unai. 
the C major. Then Ninga is A minor and Martin is E minor. So let us play that line. The next line is Ningina Tunga Mountain. It is similar to the previous line, but the change is only in the last word. Instead of the E minor, you hold the G major. And the last line is Fantastic transposition there. That's A minor. Then there it is. There are three chords in that word. So So is G major, A minor. Let's look at that line one more time. Please. So when you say Jeevane, the D chord when you strike it, just mute it immediately. So let's see that one more time. It goes back to the first line of the parallel. Let us see that one more time. That is the end of Pallavi. Let us now look at the Charanam chords. So in Charanam, the first line is only C major chord. So let's see that line. The next line is C major, B major and E minor. So it is. C major. B major. E minor. E minor again. The next line is similar to the first two lines. C major for the next line. The next line is C major G major C major B major C major A minor So let us see that line fully C major G major, C major, B major, C major, A minor. Let us see the second part one more time. With the strumming pattern. The next line is Vanilla Vai. C major, B major, G major, B major, C major again, C major, G major, similar to the Pallavi. G major and A C major. 
ए माइनर जी मेजर मारे जी मेजर फुली सी मेजर आई होप यू कॉट द कॉल्स थैंक यू